Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of Nuclear Throne. We are jumping in again and this time we are checking out Agoraphobia. This is where areas are much larger, so I'm interested to see how this goes. I'm going to go Skelly this time around for this one. And we are going to go with, I guess, the Golden Kraken Gun. Although I could go with the Bazooka. I was playing around with explosives last time and it was kind of fun. Uh, so why not give that a go? I don't know if there's any crowns specifically that would be like really, really good for this. What's the crown where it's increased enemies but less... Yeah, more enemies, less rounds. Just for the hell of it, let's see what this is like with this. Because that's basically what the last mode was doing. And this is like mixing the two of them now. The larger areas and more enemies. Definitely taking quite a bit of damage here. I forget we only start at 5 HP with this guy. This is a much larger area, okay. So far I quite like the uh, the old rocket launcher, it's doing a decent job. Not the best, but a bit of AoE is never a bad thing. Oh my god, I'm getting way too in the weeds here. Ah, oh, the scorpion sidestepped me. My movement speed is too low. Let's just see what it's like normally. Let's 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 not get too bogged down into it first. Let's not uh, be editing the amount of enemies and just see how it functions as a mode on its own. Ah, uh, bugger. Bugger you. Stop spawning on me. Ah! Get the fuck off of me. Don't give me any space to chill. I need my boiling veins if you're going to do that to me. I can't fire this at close range. But I do very much enjoy explosive weaponry. It's very fun. And I like the fact that I can do that too. That's that's very convenient. The big open areas is definitely something that's like different with this mode. With the areas just being bigger in general, there's a lot more open space in each area. Normally you kind of... There's one sort of central area or a few central areas and then like a lot of small corridors. This kind of seems a lot more open in general, and there is just so many shots coming at me right now. This is wild. This is not the right weapon for this, I don't think. The enemies aren't packed tightly enough together to, like, really take advantage, and I'm just putting myself in a position where I can't hurt enemies that are close to me, which is a major downside. So I'm going to pick up whatever's in here to start with. Oh, it had to be a goddamn screwdriver, didn't it? Really not what I needed right now. Looking for something that was going to be long range. Things are going okay. I can't believe how big the areas are. This is actually huge. I kind of like it though. It's a whole different way of like seeing the game. Is that the, the, the last of them? That is the last of them. Right. This is kind of a tricky one here. I don't really know what to go for. I think Rabbit's Paw is probably a good idea. I don't take Rabbit's Paw that often anymore. But I think just more drops to keep us safe is going to be nice. If only I could hit the things I'm trying to fire at, goddammit. Hit myself there with a rocket, good. Very nearly killed myself. Please give me a better secondary than this goddamn awful screwdriver, though. But, this rocket launcher is opening up a lot of space for us to work with and killing things pretty efficiently, so it's not doing too bad. At least the, the uh, maggots can get taken care of by the screwdriver reasonably easily. Oh my god, there's just so much going on. You go through a path and it just never ends. Hurt myself again. I uh, hurt myself today. I do like the fact that it kills the maggots um, straight away though. They don't all leak out of these corpses and stuff. There's a sentence I didn't think I'd be saying today, but oh well. Micro Assault Rifle. There you go, baby. That's what I'm looking for. Give me scarier face and this thing will be the leader of an army. 
Please don't say there's another enemy over there. Okay, luckily we can blast our way through walls to get to these rogue enemies, but that's going to be a bad thing on this uh, this game mode, finding the last enemy. They're scarier face as well, beautiful. Makes this weapon a hell of a lot better. Okay. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Also, as well, good thing about my rocket launcher is I can just kind of fire it at a distance to take out big clumps of enemies. As long as I've got a decent sight line on where they are, at least can kind of predict where they're going to be. Oh, man. Missing everything right now. Can't use it at this close range. Easy peasy on that guy. Take out the last few of the rocket launcher. I still would like boiling veins, though, just to give myself a little bit more safety and ability to use this thing in a pinch. Beautiful. So much more still. It's mental. How is there still this much more? Is that it? Oh, that's not even... Gotta walk all the way back and find wherever this goddamn enemy is. Really gotta make sure I'm clearing them all out, because otherwise I'm gonna be walking around like this every single time. Got him. How did a scorpion be the last one alive? There's boiling veins. Let's go for it. Also, as well, the fire damage from the explosions is now a pretty big bonus. Right, I got onslaughts of rats coming at me, but I can handle it. They just keep coming. There's so many of them. So many. Not using my blood gamble all that much right now, but that's okay. I just like playing skeleton, even without it. I'm not really needing it anyways. I've not run out of ammo or anything, really, so. You can see how this gun with scarier face, though, really picks up quite a bit. That's why I like the micro weapons. They have some cool synergy with damage ups. Especially scary face. Just adding direct damage onto the bullet itself. How much more of this level is there? Probably still quite a lot, right? I've not even seen where the sewer grate is. Oh, there it is. Throw it to pizza time. Thank you. Um, This could be quite good here. All good. There you go. Eagle eyes. Pretty good with this. Honestly, it's got a little bit of herming for the rocket launcher too, which I didn't think about. It's very, very nice. Oh, really? The bouncy shots are what got me there? That just feels like a slap in the face. That was all going so nicely, but dude, these areas are fucking massive, man. Do you know what I need? What what weapons do I have as this guy? Let me let me go let me go take a little peek. I was really hoping we had a flare gun. Flare gun would be perfect. I think the Kraken pistol might be decent though. Let's give that a go. It's got a bit of a bit of range and piercing to it, so. Yeah, really was hoping for the flare gun. That would be very good with this, because we could just kind of spam it out. 
Get some mood swing in there to have the fire, fire spread a little bit. I'm out of ammo. That's not good. I don't even know where the ammo thing is anymore. Probably dead. I have to gamble. Oh, there's just too many maggots. There's just simply too many. <laughs> Look how many. It's so crazy. This is a good weapon, actually. Oh, this is a very good weapon. Can you get this as a starting weapon? I hope you can. Honestly, like, laser pistols and stuff would be really good, too, here. Never really thought about how good they would be. How much ammo? This thing uses a fuckload of ammo each time you use it. Wow. Didn't know how ammo-hungry this thing was. I mean, both of these are pretty ammo-hungry, to be honest. Right. So I've got a whole path down here to investigate. Like, how are you even meant to make it to this alt level in this mode? There's no way you get into that skull in time. <laughs> um, impact wrists again here might be very good. It's, l it's a little more spread out, but I still think making that more space and just being able to bash enemies together is going to be really, really nice. Not quite as crowded as it was in the um, claustrophobic mode, but... Wow. Back off, my guy. Yeah, this mode is uh, something else. Beautiful. Mini plasma gun. I will take it. Oh, 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 I was just talking. No! <laughs> I was just talking about how impossible it would be to get to the area. And I made it, and then it's like, uh, uh, uh. No fun for you. Right, I've got a laser pistol now. So I really, really want to get energy brain to make this thing viable for a bit longer than any future energy weapons. Because I really think... The piercing beams with the unlimited range is the way to go. I feel like it makes a lot of logical sense. We good? Is that it? Saw something over here. Okay. We good. No energy brain right off the bat, which is unfortunate. I'll take plutonium hunger, though, for now. I'll take the nail gun. A little more ammo hungry, but definitely more piercing and damage. Oh, look at that. That damage is wild. It's going alright. It's going alright. That was a bad hit that I just took there, but it's going alright. Also, as well, the spread is actually kind of nice. I can fire it into a big crowd and hit quite a lot of enemies with it. Okay. Shotgun. Two-shotting those guys is pretty good, too. Let this be the run. This is the run. I can make this one work. This will carry us through the rest of the episode. No energy brain, but that's pretty good. Um, I'm actually going to take patience here because I would like to try and get energy brain as soon as possible. It's going to make our life a lot easier when we get it. A little sketched out with the amount of things I'm having to keep on my mind right now. Oh man, I'm so dead, I'm so dead. Bandit, not the fucking right time, my guy. I've got so much stuff to do right now.
You'll at least give me some health, won't you? No, you won't, you sack of... Ugh. Oh my god! There's so many scorpions! The amount of scorpions is egregious. But we're making our way through it somehow. Definitely need to eat soon as well. I'm getting very hungry. Nuclear throwing killing makes me hungry. This game's so fun though. Ooh, this. This could be a very, very good weapon for us. The Yo Yo Spinner. I can imagine that being really top tier. How is there another enemy down here? Be sure. A maggot. Didn't even level up. Ugh. Oh no, I did. Okay, it's because of my patience. Damn it, I still didn't get what I wanted. Um. Bloodlust, I guess. This is what I'm talking about. Almost died there. The constant circling of these blades around us makes a huge difference. That was, uh, obviously with these tighter corridors is even better, but on, even on regular levels I think that's going to be the way to go. All good? All good, baby. All good. Energy brain! More damage. I think it does more damage when it pierces as well. I'm gonna give this gun more longevity and give any other energy weapon we find a bit of longevity as well, which we're really looking for. Ow. I mean, you can see how much power this has given us so far. Doing a lot. Why would you fly into that path? Oh, dude, assassin, no. Will not be having you ruin this for me. Kraken gun. Interesting, but not what I need right now. Gotta be kidding me. Oh, man. It's a short episode, but I'm going to have to leave this one there because I'm very, very hungry. Um, and I don't know. I think that was a fun episode nonetheless. We got some good runs in there-ish. I mean, the level's been that huge. It's it, it, The runs are way, way longer anyways. Either way, hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.